That's right, today we're going to show you how to install hyperdrive ROM on your Galaxy S4. And that's going to be on, do, 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 wait for it, wait for it, right there, NC5, KitKat 4.4.2. I will show you guys how to get this ROM installed, fully functioning for you. Hopefully you'll be able to apply this exact same process to any ROM on this build. And let's go ahead and get into this. Alright guys, well first off I want to give a huge shout out to Emmanuel for putting together that brand new intro for me. Hope you guys like it. I really love it. I think it's wicked cool. Um, but to get into today's video, let's go ahead and show you how to um, install Hyperdrive ROM on the Samsung Galaxy S4 Verizon variant. This is going to be installing it on NC5 which has a little bit of quirks to it and I already did a video on how to, how to root it. Actually, how to install SafeStrap. Now, a quick note, I've heard some people saying they're having issues with SafeStrap doing it like I showed. Um, I did start with a completely Odin wiped device, so it was stock, 100%, factory reset, and C5. Alright, that being said, we need to have some prerequisites made, and those are going to be Super Su, BusyBox, SafeStrap, all that stuff already set up on our device. We're also going to want to have, let's see if I can show it to you, downloads. You're going to want to have the SafeStrap APK somewhere in your downloads. Uh, Super Su uh, APK also that I linked when I installed SafeStrap and got root access and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, towel root APK in case you need to get root access again. Sometimes installs are goofy and you lose root access. Um, besides that, you're going to need to have two more files. And I'm, I put them on my external storage, so I'm going to go to that. And those files are... Hyperdrive ROM right here. Go ahead and I'll show it to you with properties. And it is Hyperdrive ROM uh, RLS 16.1 KitKat S4 Final Zip. That's the zip that is the latest right now. And you're also going to need this right here, which is the NC5 modules that use Flash in SafeStrap. All right, so we know what we need. I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can boot into recovery. I'm pretty sure I can do it here, but if I can't, um, we'll uh, manually boot into it another way. Let's see here. Yeah, so if you come into the application and you hit reboot to recovery and it doesn't do it, if you no hit reboot normally, it'll just automatically boot right into uh, safe strap. But this does seem to function for me right here. And I think it only functions when you have that SE Linux permissive then you can actually use it to reboot correctly. I'm pretty sure that's the difference there. Okay, we're in recovery. We have all our files on our device. Everything is good to go. I always like to point out to have good battery life before proceeding. Very important. And we're on stock slot. We're going to flash hyperdrive to the stock ROM slot. Now, first thing you want to do is come into backups. Make sure they're all checked. You might want to pick what you want to call the backup. That's what it is default. Then you may want to pick where you're going to store it. Mine is the SD card or the internal. You can pick whatever you want. Then you want to swipe across and create your Android backup. This is super important because this would be able to restore your device if you have a problem with this flash. Now, also if you have a problem with this flash, what I my experience was last time I did this, I lost safe strap. So it's a little frustrating. Um, and you probably would have to Odin restore, reroute, reinstall SafeStrap, then restore your backup. So just be prepared to always know how to do Odin firmware restores before you do a lot of this kind of stuff. So next, um, I'm going to show you, I, I didn't do that backup because I already have one right here that I did earlier. And I'm happy with that one if I have an emergency recovery situation. Or if I just want to go back to stock and get off hyperdrive. Alright, so we're going to go to wipes. Slide across to uh, factory reset your device. And you can go back, back again. Now, I have done an Android uh, restore with that file. So it is functional. Um, so you can do your backups and restores. Just a quick information, I have tested that. Now we're going to go to installs. And you got to scroll to where your, draw, your ROM is at. There, it's right there. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. And it gives you a warning about flashing stock, blah, blah, blah. It is dangerous, but if you know how to Odin restore, you're pretty much good to go. And we're going to swipe across to flash. 
And from here, it's gonna open up Aroma Installer, which is very, very cool. And we're gonna go through and pick and choose what we wanna do and what we want installed on this device. So, here it goes, it should boot up. There it is, Hyperdrive. I absolutely love Hyperdrive. The tweaks and customizations in it are absolutely amazing. All right, so here it is, go ahead and hit next. Uh, hit the I agree to the terms and conditions, hit next. You must do a full wipe, that's fine, hit next. Um, we wanna go full ROM install. Uh, do a full wipe again, that's fine. Next, and then we have to pick our variant. This does work with T-Mobile, AT&T, or Verizon. I have Verizon, so I'm gonna pick Verizon. And then, how do you want this to look? Stock Note 3. I'm gonna go with uh, Galaxy S5 Launcher. Select that one, go ahead. Then this is picking all the applications you want included in it. Um, I pretty much like the default stuff here. Yeah, that looks pretty nice, just like it is. Hit next. And then, what kind of AccuWeather widget do you want? I'm gonna go with the Galaxy S5 version. Um, email, stock email's fine. Calendar, let's do Galaxy S5. Um, boot animation, Galaxy S5. And audio is none, it's fine. And then you can do ad blocker. I'm actually gonna turn that off, I don't really like ad blocker. Let those developers get what they're coming to. That's how they make their monies on those ads. Come on, people. And then, um, ES file manager right there. I love that file manager, so I'll select that one. And you can kind of go through here, and there's some other AOSP stuff you can add in, or just whatever else is checked. That looks all fine to me. Next. And here you can do Adobe Flash Player. And this one's really important, terminal emulator, because you're gonna use that later. So we make sure that one is checked. It looks okay. And then, what kind of theme do you want? I'm gonna go with the Galaxy S5 theme. Good, um, for kernel install, just leave it stock. And everything's good, and hit next, and you're gonna go through the install. Here it is, welcome, hyperdrive, blah, 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 blah. Galaxy S4, 4.4 KitKat, and it's gonna install the system. So let's just let this install, and I'll shoot right back to it as soon as it is done. All right, looking pretty good so far. 90% here, should be wrapping any time now. And there we go, 100% and done. So it says first boot, uh, re first boot will take um, could take anywhere from five to 10 minutes before setting up the ROM. So just some information right there about it. And then we're gonna hit next. And right here it says reboot. We do not want to do that. What we want to do. This is tricky. These little three little buttons right here. You want to touch them and you want to say quit installer. Say yes. If you hit reboot, it'll actually boot you right back out and go to safe strap and then reboot the device and you're not done. So we're gonna swipe across and we're gonna go back. And now we're gonna choose those Verizon NC5 module zip. And I will give you links to all this, you know guys, that's how I work. Go ahead and swipe across to flash the uh, modules. Done, very fast, very simple. Now we're done, now we can reboot the system. So go ahead and hit reboot system now. And here's where I'm kind of curious. Last time I did this, I lost safe strap. Normally you have the splash screen right here. It says normally it says custom. There's a screen and um, you see the safe strap splash screen where you can get into recovery or continue. But oh, some of this time I kept it. So if you do lose it, um, don't worry about it. That's okay. It's not the big, it's not a huge deal. Um, but if you do, you know, we'll, we'll work on it from there. Um, I think if you do the same steps I do, but you set C Linux permissive before booting into SafeStrap the first time, you'll probably be okay. If you lose it, it's not the end of the world because we can reinstall it um, once this ROM fully boots up. So I'm going to let it boot. Like I said, it could take 5 to 10 minutes. If it takes longer than 10 minutes, you have an issue. You probably need to get back into recovery and restore your Android backup. If that does not function, um, Odin Restore is your absolute last backup. All right, so I'm going to let this boot. We'll be right back to it. So the ROM is booted up here. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through the install. I don't have a SIM card in, don't worry, you're not gonna see that. And uh, get this thing set up and I'll show you guys the ROM and finish the rest of the install instructions. All right, so here we go, we're booted up. This is Hyperdrive. Now, we gotta make sure that we still have root access. And, and this might actually have it. Let's see if it kept it or not. No, so there's no SU binaries installed. That was the problem I had before. So. 
you have ES File Manager installed still, so this is not going to be a big deal. You should be able to go right into Downloads. Here's your um, application, not right now. And go ahead and install it. This is going to install Towel Root. Install anyway. Open. And go ahead and go ahead and do the root little exploit here. If you guys seen my tile root video, this is very simple. So from here, we're just going to wait the 15 seconds. It's going to reboot. As soon as it reboots, we'll show you we have root access again. And we'll move on. There's your safe strap screen again. Not a big deal. So I'm not really sure why um, Hyperdrive does not come with root access. It's a little bit funky. I'm not sure what the situation is right there with that. Um, but, you know, this does function. So we'll just do it this way. You might be able to get away with flashing Super Su Zip in Safe Strap and get root that way. But I'm not sure what the deal is. Something with this C Linux permissive issue. But anyway, so we're going to go su Super Su now. Continue normal for updating the binaries so it failed so what I found is the same thing I did before in my tile root video is go in here install this super su because for some reason it allows the binaries to update fine so it's installing open continue whoop lost my, my screen there we'll go back into it here we go continue normal and there we go so now we have proper root access and from here everything should be good if you're having issues and you need to install um, safe strap again obviously you can go ahead and install at this point because you have root access you may need to know busy box is built into this so you don't have one have an issue with that um, so everything should be good if you want to get your device back to C Linux permissive you guys know the trick on that that is done very easily with about devices so right now it's enforcing so we'll just come into terminal we'll go ahead and type in su for super user hit enter go ahead and grant super user rights and then just type in set and force space zero and then hit enter very good and now if we go back in here we should have permissive Da, 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 right there. SE for Android status permissive. Perfect. All right, one last quick little note I want to just point out to you guys. Um, Hyperdrive, if you know this ROM at all, does have um, Expose kind of built into it, which is really cool. So if you download WANAM, Expose module, in there under device hacks, I think it is, or just something like that, you can actually set this device to set permissive, SE Android secure permissive, on every boot. So you won't have to mess with that anymore. But you technically can also leave it enforcing at this point because you got your ROM installed. You got root access, you're 100% functional. That's it. That's how to install Hyperdrive. I know this is a long video. I'm trying to give you as much information as I possibly could. Um, you know, that's kind of how I rolls. So like I said, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, check the video description for all the links you're going to need. I'll link you to forums and all kinds of good stuff on XDA. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out. Yeah. Oh,